The average person is said to spend 15 minutes in the bathroom. Why not take advantage of that time and learn something new? Presenting the 15-minute podcast on weird facts, crazy details, and funny particulars that you'll be able to enjoy while you're taking a sh- Well, on your free time. Welcome to The Shit with Sam Butler. Welcome to another episode of The Shit Podcast. Uh, glad to be here with you guys. I have a, a new friend of mine, uh, someone that I just met recently, but he's actually working with us on some projects here at the, the studios. And uh, it's very hush hush for now. Yeah. But it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, a, a, a big welcome to my friend Manny Signs. Manny. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while since I uh, spoke in English. But. It's cool with me, man. You know, I, I feel you. I, I have to do the podcast in Spanish, you know, and so yeah. it's, it's, it's challenging, but it's fun, right? And it's challenging because you're always trying like to not to have an accent, but I'm like well, I can have an accent, doesn't matter. Yeah. Hey, British people have accents, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They own that shit. Yeah, you know? so just own your accent. Be like, I'm a Latin lover, bro. Yeah, yeah. Latino, Latino. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I think it. Uh, I I mean, Salma Hayek has an accent. It hasn't stopped her from doing anything. Sofia Vergara has. That's an accent. the grossest accent ever, right there. <laughs> I have the boobs. So <laughs> have the like, boobs. Yeah. yeah, it could be like. So if you ever got, I gotta wear like if I was married to her, I'd have to wear like ear, like earmuffs, you know. <laughs> Hello, Sam. <laughs> Your huevos <laughs> with bacon, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Como quieren los huevos? <laughs> no, <laughs> your huevos de no. breakfast. Yeah, yeah the like breakfast, huevos yeah. rancheros. Yeah. Yeah. Southeast, yeah. southwest, yeah. southwest, southwest, yeah. southwest eggs. Yeah. Anytime they ask me how I want my eggs. I'm like grilled, <laughs> you know, it's like, what else? With like, all my heart. With all my heart. I love my <laughs> eggs very much. Yeah. But um, I'm glad to have you here. You're visiting us from the city, uh, Mexico, Mexico city. city. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll be doing some stuff with us here and we'll be doing yes. some stuff with you there. So that's awesome. And it's a pleasure to have you here. What do you do for a living, man? Uh, I'm an illustrator. I paint a little bit and I also do like uh, music just for hobby and cool. a couple of things. You work on, on projects. Yeah. I know this sticker up here. Yeah. Th uh, that's one of his illustrations. If you get a chance to check them out, um, it's pretty awesome. So yeah. put it on the on the iPad and there it is, you know. Thanks. But uh, we're going to get down to the subject today. All right. And uh, this is kind of a crazy thing. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a particular animal, right? Um, okay. This animal is the African tigerfish. African tiger fish. It sounds dangerous. Sounds dangerous. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's racist, bro. <laughs> just just because it's African, you know. It's uh, like I didn't mean it that <laughs> yeah. way, you know? the fish is all look at me, I am the captain now. <laughs> yeah, no. It's a, it's a it's a dangerous fish actually. It's pretty dangerous. The African tiger fish. Um it's a freshwater fish. Okay. So it's in the rivers and lakes and stuff like that. Okay. It's not in the ocean. But uh, there's different varieties of it. Like there's um, the Goliath version of it, which is a fish that can grow up to like 150 pounds. Okay. Right. Big fish. It's a big fish. And uh, in some of the descriptions of the fish, it's shaped like a salmon. Okay. And, but the tail is like a tuna. So it's kind of a like a bullet-shaped fish. But... Um, and does it taste like a salmon? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know, but people go hunt. Uh, this is considered a, a game fish. Okay. So if you're a fisherman, this is like one of those fish you want on your wall. Like a trophy fish? Like a trophy fish. Okay. You know, like, and people go, because because some of the, some of the, Some of the fish, uh, we're not talking about women again. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. This is a serious podcast, a serious Sam. Podcast. Please, come on. No. <laughs> so the African tiger fish, um, it actually has a double jointed jaw. Okay. Okay, so the, the jaw drops here. But then the top of the jaw opens it open up. Us. Okay, so right, so it's got a double jointed jaw. See, it's a dangerous fish. Yeah. Yeah. And then it has teeth. Okay, like sharp, human teeth, like yeah. sharp teeth, sharp teeth, okay. like sharp pointy teeth. Okay, right, and then the teeth kind of grow uh, offset like that, like a like a trap, like a trap. Yeah, yeah. and so it has double jointed jaw. Now, um, the particular species we're talking about, they grow to be about. Uh, 20, 30 pounds. They're not the biggest ones. Okay. 
right? Ounce. I think it said kilos. It was like like half, like fifteen, 15 kilos, fifteen to yeah. twenty kilos. Okay. I mean, it's still a pretty big fish. Yeah, it's a big fish, right? And it it it, it talks about <clears throat> this fish um, being able to open up its jaws like all the way like this, like a hadouken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that it so that it can launch itself and strike and then grab a chunk of, of flesh. A flesh, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> you don't <laughs> you know? want to be near that fish. Yeah. Yeah. And and they call it a. They there was a some you know there was an article here about it, and um, it says that the they call they don't know whether it was named the tiger fish because it has black stripes going all the way down the sides. Oh, it's like a, a killer like, design. Oh, like a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like oh look at that. Ah yeah. oh, damn. <laughs> or, or if it's because of the teeth. Okay. Right, but I think it's a little bit of both. You Could know? be. Yeah. You'd be like, what do you want to call that? I think a tiger is appropriate. Tiger. Yeah. You know, tiger. So this particular fish um, swims in sweet water. It eats other fish. Okay. That's that's its main thing. It rarely attacks humans. Okay. It's very rare that it'll attack humans. But it will. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're trying to tell me like that. It's fine. You can swim with it. Like when you have yeah. a dog that it, everybody knows, like it's a dangerous dog. Yeah. yeah it doesn't, doesn't bite. Don't worry. And then the first, yeah, first strike, it bites off. The chihuahuas like the are the ones that yeah. bite. The little dogs are the ones that bite. Yeah. The, the big dogs are just wagging their tail. You see a pit bull. You, 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 a lot of pit bulls are just the kindest, gentlest dogs. Yeah. And then you get this little chihuahua that sees like the instigator. With know? a double jaw. With a du the the double jaw. Like jaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, let me see. The small tiger fish. Um, the African tiger Chihuahua double jaw. <laughs> double jaw. <laughs> um, it says the Goliath tiger fish can reach sizes up to 110 pounds, 50 kilograms. 50 kilograms. Yeah. And the non-Goliath tiger fish can weigh up to 33 pounds, 15 kilograms. It's still a big fish. Um, yeah. It's in the Zambezi River system in Africa. Okay. And so um, Jane Lee, she is a reporter. Um, this was a, an article out of uh, National Geographic. Okay. She she reported that in February of 2010. This and this is this is the whole the shit part of this episode. Okay, right. This is the part that you go. All right, uh, this is pretty amazing, right? So she reported that uh, in in a storage lake for the Chandra Dam in South Africa, um, some were snatching barn swallows out of the air. Now, a uh, swallow is a small bird. Okay. It's a barn swallow. Okay, okay. So, for the first time in 2010, mm -hmm. they're taking video, and this um, tiger fish jumps out of the water and catches a bird. That's like a new threat, no? Like, <laughs> the, yeah. We didn't know he, <laughs> he could do that. We didn't know he could do that. Well, it was the first time they captured it on video. Okay. So, this is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So this is the first it's time. Like that. Yeah. So so the tiger fish is actually, in addition to its double jointed jaw and all of its menacing features, and you the fact and like. the fact that it's African. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's like so. It's like the most dangerous fish. <laughs> well, it's, in it's, the then I'm gonna quote uh, Sweetwater. Yeah, uh, she wrote it on the Journal of Fish Biology. Okay, she said. Unlike other instances of fish eating birds, because other fish eat birds, mm -hmm. but they wait for the bird to land and then they attack it. I was watching a bunch of videos on those. I was looking, as I was researching this, I was looking at all that information. I was looking at a bunch of videos and all I could find was videos of birds on the lake and then the fish would just come up and snatch, snatch it. it. And then he'd drag them under. Okay. And then all you'd see is feathers floating in the water. You know? <laughs> it's a pretty nasty like thing. Like nature. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, piranhas. I, I always heard of piranhas. I think th they're like in Peru, no? Piranhas. Yeah, like uh, the Amazon River. The Amazon or, or whatever. Yeah. And they're just like, they're, piranhas are maybe like this big, you know, and they got those teeth, but their lower jaw. And I've always heard that they attack anything. Yeah. And they, they come like in like 80. School. 80 yeah. yeah, school. School. Yeah, school it's called a school of fish. Piranha. Yeah. And they... They, uh, but nobody wants to like uh, uh, fish that uh, a piranha like for sport, like, <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> or a shark, or I don't know. Yeah, why like, would they want that fish? They're like the sport? they're like the cholos of the <laughs> of the river, <laughs> of the river. You know, they they all 
Excuse me, I'll come gang up on you. you know? Hey, <laughs> what up, Bessie? I'm going to hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little puppy right there. <laughs> you know, so. Um, hey, Joker. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Joker, the smiley. smiley. Right, yeah. yeah. They got a little Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> little rag on yeah, the back pocket. Little mustaches. <laughs> like that. Yeah. What's up? So, <laughs> I just ate a zebra, man. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> Uh, unlike okay so she wrote this um jane lee in the journal of fish biology and this is a journal that was online it says unlike other instances of fish eating birds barn swallows which is the type of bird okay actually seem to be fairly regular part of the tiger fish's summer diet when the swallows are available right um she said, they've been incredibly well adapted. Oh, I got this other one. Are available. They've been incredibly well adapted to hunt the flying birds as part of their daily routine. Okay. It's like a regular thing. I think it's like, hey, uh, it's summertime. You want to get some bird swallows? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's yeah, eat a bird. Let's yeah. go get some birds. I'm sure you don't want to eat like a smaller fish? <laughs> yeah, it's it's oh. bird season. <laughs> bird season. <laughs> yeah, it's bird season. So the fish would either follow the birds on the surface, so they'd just kind of follow the birds, mm -hmm. before leaping to try to catch them, or the tiger fish would track the swallows from deeper in the water, Okay, and then they would launch into the air to ambush them. Just like a big leap. Like a big, big leap. Big leap of faith. Yeah, so they would jump, and imagine they are jumping with their jaws wide open. And uh, is it This bird, is it like, like a big bird, or...? No, uh, big the, bird. <laughs> no, no. It's big yellow. Big yellow. Big yeah. yellow. It has a, it has a goofy <laughs> hey, voice. How are you? <laughs> I'm big bird. Yeah. No, the swallows are are fairly small birds. Okay. Yeah, and so uh, the barn swallow is like a little brown bird, but it flies really fast. Okay. Okay. Right, and so the thing is that these little birds will fly over the lake, and then the fish will be just lying in wait. It's a predator, so it'll jump out. Just go and ahead attack. and grab it. Yeah. Okay. It says that they marvel at the skill that it takes for these fish to capture birds on the wing. Tiger fish have to spot a fast flying swallow from the water, exceed the bird's speed, compensate for refraction, or the fact that the angle of the light changes when it goes from air to water. Okay. So the fish has to understand that what he's seeing up there isn't it's not necessarily really there. It's not really there. Okay. So he's got to understand that when he jumps out of the water, it's going to be somewhere else. So okay. he's got to compensate for that. Right? Okay. And then leap out of the water to grab the bird. Over the, curse of the, over, their, over the course of their study, researchers saw up to 20 successful attempts on flying barn swallows by the tiger fish in one day. It's a lot. <laughs> a lot of barn yeah, swallows. It's a lot of barn swallows. So they were a able barn to swallow, swallowed. <laughs> they, got, they got to see a swallowed barn swallow. Yeah. So um, this is something that uh, uh, was pretty amazing because they hadn't witnessed this before. Okay. And they finally got got some video. I looked for the video. I couldn't find the video. I think it'd be a pretty cool video to watch. I imagine like the like the I saw a video of like a white shark. Like yeah. they took like the footage and like. Four meters up. In yeah, the that's area. pretty amazing. I think something like that would be something like that. But yeah. this is a freshwater fish, so okay. like you're you're on the lake with your kids and you're going like, we're going fishing, kids, <laughs> and they're like, no, oh, dad, there's fish in the water, and you're like, nah, yeah. they're fine. You don't have anything to worry about. No, this fish can jump out of the water and get you in the boat. <laughs> you know, that's... that's there are no piranhas they're here. Not, like, they're not, yeah. <laughs> there are although, no cholo fish. All the kids are like, we are in Africa, dad. <laughs> anything is possible. And, you know, the, the article finished wrapping up saying that even though this ravenous looking fish might be the stuff of nightmares, but they play an important role in the freshwater ecosystems. Okay. And that's being threatened. Okay. They can be an important source of protein, revenue for local people, and they have their own intrinsic charm, says Zeb Hogan, a fish biologist. Fish biologist. You know, freshwater fish, though not the cuddliest of creatures, have their own intrinsic value and beauty. 
just like each of us, like, and deserve our help. Like, I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> this, seems, this seems fake. Rick. Yeah. And this is the same guy that doesn't pay child support. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you think about that, you're like, oh, okay, cool. No. But uh, that pretty much was this episode of this shit. We're talking about the Damn. African tiger fish. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for being on the show. It was great. Thank you for inviting me. I mean, uh, I had a good time. And, dude, your English is great. So keep, oh, thank you. <laughs> keep doing it, dude. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of each other in the, in the near future. So yes. I appreciate you being here. Uh, how can people find you on your social media? Uh, well, Instagram is like my main social media. Uh, I'm like at no soy Manuel. So, no soy Manuel. Yeah, no soy Manuel. I'm not Manuel. I'm not Manuel yeah. in Spanish. Though, in Spanish. No soy Manuel. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like so, a good friend of mine said once in a in a job interview, they asked him his, his email and instead of saying at, he said aroba. Aroba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like aroba oh. and then you just could hear like they hung up and came like immediately like, <laughs> like yeah. okay, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, aroba, no soy Manuel. What's that uh, Beach Boy song? Aruba, <laughs> Bahama. <laughs> you know, Aruba. Oh, Beach Boy. Nice <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh um uh, they can find they can find you at No Soy Manuel yeah. on Instagram. Instagram. And uh, of course, you can find us at Stacacalo Podcast and all the streaming services for podcasts. We're, all, we're out there everywhere. And uh, Spotify, for example, Anchor, uh, Apple, iTunes. You can also find us uh, at Stacacalo Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Or you can find my personal page, Tu Amigo Sam. Uh, tu Amigo Sam on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, YouTube. My YouTube channel is Tu Amigo Sam, and this podcast is on YouTube. So like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Makes me look like I got a lot of friends, um, <laughs> which yeah. is good because, cool. <laughs> you know, but uh, thank like you guys. Like a big school of Cholo yeah, Fish. Yeah. Like a big school of, it looks like we have a school of friends. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you guys for joining us. That's this episode of The Shit Podcast. <laughs>